us now on the program is Michaela Pru, a local Oakland County singer-songwriter and a contestant in the Miss, uh, Miss Oakland County competition as well. Michaela, thank you for joining us. Thank you for having me, Tyler. Appreciate having you on. So first of all, uh, obviously for those that are watching, on the TV side and on the website, the radio, they can't see. You are wearing a crown. I am. Now, you're not just being extra. No. You've earned that crown. <laughs> <laughs> Tell us about that process. Where did you earn the, earn the crown, and uh, how was that whole ordeal for you? Yes, yeah, so I'm Miss Oakland County USA currently, and the state pageant for the Miss Michigan USA title is at the end of the month in May, which is super exciting. So I actually found out I won in Texas, which was insane. I was in Austin, Texas for the South by Southwest festival and because of covid the pageant went a little differently and a lot of things were virtual so i got a call from the director in austin and they're like hey you won miss oakland county so that was super exciting so i came home and got a crown the sash hasn't come in yet because of covid and the yeah. delays in shipping and everything but i'm wearing a crown and being extra like tyler said but it is so exciting and i advocate food allergy awareness and education so what i do in the miss usa competition is i personally personally have food allergies. Yep. I'm allergic to peanuts and tree nuts. And a lot of the labeling that is um, a part of the FDA isn't very um, user friendly for um, people who have allergies. So if you ever look on a package like a label and it says like made in the same facility or made on the same equipment or may contain, those are all voluntary statements. And those are statements that people with allergies look for. And the fact that they're voluntary by companies is insane because that is a life or death situation for somebody. So with my title, I'm advocating food allergy awareness and education to eventually change labeling on packaging to make the world a safer place for people with allergies and I partnered up with uh, the nonprofit Red Sneakers for Oakley who's a na national nonprofit um, based out of Florida and yeah. they do a lot of fundraising a lot of events to raise allergy awareness so it's really nice to team up with them and advocate it and, and so when you do compete in May at the national level you yes. have one at the at the county level is it then so I, uh, before actually I'll skip back a step is there now a state competition or do you go straight to the national level representing Oakland County one of Michigan's 83 counties yes yeah, so the um the pageant in May is the state and okay. then if you win that then you go to nationals Okay, and yeah. so uh, what, what sort of difference does that competition, from your knowledge, does that pageant uh, have from the Oakland County's pageant, uh, and how do you then prepare yourself for the statewide pageant versus the preparation that went into the Oakland County pageant? So they're very the same. It's a lot of the same prep, same things. So the state pageant is definitely really sharpening your skills. It's sharpening your interview skills. It's sharpening your public speaking skills. It's sharpening what you advocate for. So it's really a way to figure out how you want to portray yourself. So at the local competition, obviously it's a smaller group of people. And then once you get to the state, it's everyone in the state of Michigan. So it's going from competing just to, with girls in Oakland County to girls in the entire state. So it's really just developing your confidence, developing your skills that can really push you to potentially go to the national level. So you're also a musician, you're a singer songwriter, and you're also now competing in pageants. Which one came first? And <laughs> if it was music, what then drew you to pageantry? So music definitely came first. I started performing from the age of four. And I did musicals, I did a lot of acting. I, um, so I went to West Bloomfield schools growing up, okay. and I actually, um, in my eighth grade year in Abbott Middle School, which I don't think is going to be Abbott Middle School anymore. I think not, they're closing no, that down, <laughs> which makes me sad. But, um, but it's great that they're developing a new middle school. It's yeah. incredible. But I was Sharpay in High School Musical, which for the eighth grade show is really fun. But I've done a lot of other local um, pageants and um, musical theater growing up. So um, I was in the Miss America organization and I still compete in the Miss America organization. And with that, you have a, a talent. So I've always sang, I've always written songs. And so I developed a new outlet to be able to sing and perform my music. I found out about pageants and I was like, hey, people can hear my voice this way and hear my songs this way, might as well do it. And it's helped me develop as a person too, being able to present myself and being able to speak to people and definitely build up a stage presence when you go on stage and you have to be your own person to compete. We're joined by Michaela Pru, singer-songwriter and also a, a pageant model, joining us on the Oakland County Megacast. Uh, she, was, she is uh, currently 
2022 Miss Oakland County, USA. The state competition uh, will be happening in May. You're also a singer-songwriter and an award-nominated singer-songwriter at that as well. You were nominated in the 2022 Detroit Music Awards for a number of different categories, including Outstanding Country Artist, Outstanding Country Song, and Outstanding Songwriter. You mentioned that you began performing about four years old, and music was that first great interest in performance for you. Where, how has that developed over time? Did, I would imagine it began as something that was a bit of a curiosity, being that you were four years old and you're just get, garnering that interest. Where did, did it then become a passion for you? It's, when I was younger, I feel like music has always been a passion, just from a, even from a young age. I always wanted to be in theater. I always wanted to be on the stage. I always wanted to be singing. We really like started to realize that I had a talent. Well, my mom did when I was little, and we were in the grocery store, and you know those carts that have like the cars on the front of them yeah. and the little kids driving the cars? So I was singing in one of those cars, and just in the grocery store, I was like four, like I was young, and the lady com a lady comes around the aisle and looks at my mom and goes, is that her? And she, my mom goes, yeah, that's, that's her. She goes, I'm a vocal coach. She goes, if she's still singing like that when she's eight, you need to get her in vocal training and you need to get her out there. So um, if she's still into it, and I, I was into it, I love doing it growing up. I love songwriting. That was always something that I've always done. It's been really cathartic for me. It's a lot of, a, it's a good outlet for me to express me and my emotions. So using that as a songwriter, it's just, it, it became a passion very, very quickly. And it's a lifestyle basically at this point. And so now you are continuing to develop songs. You've written multiple songs in recent years. You've recorded these songs and you've even collaborated with, with some music dynamos uh, in the industry. Uh, you collaborated with a Snoop Dogg's bass player and a Detroit music legend in Team Money Green. Where did that relationship develop? So, um, I host a show with him. It's called Hyped Up Live Sessions Next Generation. And what we do with that show is it's kind of, it's a series um, continuation off of his original show, Hyped Up Live Sessions. So the next generation is promoting local talent from the Metro Detroit area. We um, look for people kind of 29 and under, which is the new generation of music, to come on and show their talent and show their original music if they're a band, singer, songwriter. So if any of you out there, if that's you, or you know somebody out there, please feel free to contact me and um, so I met him on a set for a music video actually okay. and I went up to him and I go hi I'm a singer songwriter I'm a musician my mom and I talked to him gave him my flyer and he goes I really like you let's make a show because we I've always wanted to do something of developing young talent in Detroit because growing up as a young talent here in Metro Detroit the music industry is very hard and it is very hard to get yourself heard and it is very hard for you to even get out there so especially how having like somebody like Tony for you to go on a show with his platform, with his connections and his people watching and go on and perform, it's a huge outlet and a huge opportunity. And I'm so blessed for it. And I'm so glad that I can give back to the community and he can as well to develop young artists here. And let's talk more about that, about developing those other artists too. I mean, you are just 19. So yeah. you are yourself a young artist in, in this industry as well. But you've had that support from T from from Tony from T Money Green, mm -hmm. uh, and you've had that support in the industry, and you've kind of seen a little bit of it firsthand. That maybe some other musicians that are coming up that are of your age, a little bit younger, a little bit older, haven't seen. So for you, as both a musician uh, and just as somebody that has gone through this process yourself, how does that play into your desire to do this show and to have that platform with Tony? to support the next generation of musicians that are coming in with you and those that will be after you. Yeah, so in the industry, so like I'm, I'm the only musician in my family, and so when you don't really have those music connections already, it is very hard when you are first starting out. And so growing up and in, in the music industry, it's very about getting yourself out there and being able to walk up to somebody and say, hi, I'm a singer-songwriter, want to listen to my things, or can you help me? It's a big... Uh, opportunity to be able to go and perform anywhere if you are able to perform on a stage anywhere you are take it because that is the way for you to get heard that's a way for you to build your stage presence if you're scared do it scared i have to do it scared sometimes depending on what it is you know everyone has nerves everyone gets nervous and it's just a matter of um being confident in yourself and knowing that you can do it because it's 
it's possible for anybody. It's it's very discouraging sometimes when you see other people and you're like, man, I don't think I'll ever get there. I don't think I can ever do that. But the reality is anybody can do it if you just work hard enough and just try to get yourself out there as much as possible. And I would imagine too, especially in an industry as competitive as music and as competitive in a broader sense as entertainment, that developing those strong connections with people that are already in the industry in a more advanced position, people like Tony, uh, and other musicians that are working their way into the industry is also very important in developing and honing your own craft, but also building your career. 100%, you have to be very sure of what you want and obviously take pointers from other people. If someone suggests something, listen to it and develop what you wanna develop. And if they have a good idea that you like, then add it into it. But um, sometimes people wanna change what you wanna do. Sometimes people want to make you into something that you necessarily don't want to be. And my advice personally is you will succeed if you are doing what you want to do versus what someone else tells you to do. If you are loving what you're doing, if you're passionate about what you're doing, and I believe that you should make music that you're proud of and that make music that makes you happy versus what someone else tells you will make people happy. So that's a big thing in the industry is just being steadfast in who you are and what you want to create. We're joined by Michaela Pru, a, a singer-songwriter from the Oakland County area, joining us on the Oakland County Megacast. If you'd like to learn more information, or if you yourself are a musician and would like to be on uh, her program with uh, Tony T. Money Green, Hyped Up Live Sessions Next Generation, the email to get in contact with them is Hyped Up Live Sessions Next Gen at gmail.com. That's Hyped Up Live Sessions Next Gen at gmail.com. And so, Michaela, let's I'll dive more into your music. Uh, you have a lot of music that's already been out. You're working on a new EP called Yeehaw and, and several other new uh, pop genre songs as well. You have a couple that have already been out or are, are coming out soon. Let's talk first about your song, Gone. Yes. So I wrote that song, um, I don't know, some people may remember, um, about eight, eight years ago, I think. There was a boating accident on Sylvan Lake with the Mansour family. Mm -hmm. Adriana Mansour, she graduated high school last year at WB 2021. And gosh, she's amazing. And so I wrote I'm very close with the Mansour family. Her mom's my godmom. Okay. And I wrote the song Gone about her losing her three kids. So I mean, two, two kids, Alex and Gabby, yeah. and then Adriana being in the hospital. So um, how I wrote that is she has a page on Instagram where she writes about like kind of her grieving process and the, what comes to her mind. And I was reading through the page and I was like, man, this would be like a really good song for her. I just really wanted to make something for her because I know that when you're going through a specific time, a lot of people go through music to try and find something that resonates with them to help them get through it and kind of put their words into another platform. And so I wrote that for her and I, she, I played it to her for the first time and she goes, you don't know how long I've looked for a song that embodies everything I feel, and I have one now. And sadly, Gone has come into a lot of play with COVID and people losing family members, friends, relatives. I've sang it at a few funerals, which was very hard, but it's very nice to talk to the families and see how my song is helping them get through a time. It's very, it's kind of a magical thing hearing about how your music and your thoughts can impact somebody else in such a big way, which is mainly why I love to songwrite because you help people with their emotions that sometimes people can't even put into words. So it's it's very giving and it's very um, also receiving for me because it, it makes me happy to see other people like my music. We're joined by Michaela Pru, a singer-songwriter and also 2022's Miss Oakland County USA with, with a state competition, statewide competition for Miss Michigan USA uh, coming up in May. Joining us on the Oakland County Megacast and you have another song, Fake Friends, which we'll have you perform for us uh, in just a moment here. Tell us about the song first and then we will have your mom who has your guitar back there bring that up to you and have you perform for us. Cool, yeah. So I wrote Fake Friends in high school and it's about fake friends, believe it or not, <laughs> but it's... It's about, um, I think it resonates with a lot of people throughout every stage of their life, not only just high schoolers and young kids, because I believe everyone has come into contact with fake friends and people that you think are there for you and end up not being there for you. And a lot of the times when you start doing your career, like I've noticed with music, people that you thought would be there for you are not really there. And it's, it's a hard pill to swallow, but at the same time, it's a really good life lesson. And I wrote Fake Friends to try and help people um, all through stages of life that who do have fake friends 
you know, know that they're not alone and know that they can get through it and all they need is really the love of themselves. So that song is um, a single. I have four singles out right now. So I've gone Prince, Fake Friends, and mine. Mm -hmm. And then like you said, I'm releasing the EP Yeehaw and that's going to be more country pop music. And I'm going to be releasing that towards the end of May. And then after that, like you said, I'm going to go more towards a pop genre because I really like to um, broaden my sound. I don't really want to put myself in one lane. I think it's very cool to experiment with what you can do and I enjoy all types of music. So since I enjoy all types of music, I want to make all types of music. And so I really want my music to resonate with all different types of people and whatever genres they listen to, as well as genres that I like to listen to. So the first EP I wanted to do is country pop because that's what I always wanted to do growing up. My first thing, I always wanted it to be country pop. I listened to that growing up. And then now that I'm older and my songwriting has developed and me as an artist has developed which my production and what ideas I have that goes more in the more pop dance hyper pop realm so I'm very excited for that and very excited for people to hear it so we'll have you go ahead and play fake friends for us so people can hear the can hear the song now and uh, again I'll reset while Michaela gets herself ready over there we're joined by Michaela Pru she is from the Oakland County area West Bloomfield Waterford currently a white a white lake resident. Uh, She is also the 2022 Miss Oakland County USA. That state competition, she'll be competing for Miss Michigan USA uh, coming up in May. And so we'll keep up to date on that. We, and uh, she's also the co-host of Hyped, Up ne- of Hyped Up Live Session Next Generation with Snoop Dogg's bass player and Detroit musical legend Tony T. Money Green. You can learn more information. And if you're a musician or uh, you know a mu- musician that would be good for that show or like to talk to Michaela and talk to T. Money, you can email them. Hyped Up Live Sessions Next Gen at gmail.com. That's hy- Hyped Up Live Sessions Next Gen at gmail.com. You can find Michaela and her music on YouTube, on Spotify, on YouTube. To music and on Pandora as well and one of the songs you'll hear on all those different platforms is one for singles fake friends Michaela thank you so this is fake friends you can find it on all music streaming platforms Spotify Apple music and I'm so glad to play it for you today so this is the acoustic stripped down version Where were, where were you when I needed you? I'm sorry, excuse, why wasn't I invited to? My heart is black and blue. Feeling numb, where did I go wrong? Feeling like I don't belong. Four years never felt so Where's my mistake? My heart, I feel it break I say I miss you You say I'll see you soon But where are, where are you? I try to breathe with no air But they don't even seem to care
I'm tired of all these fake friends Don't need any one of them It's just me in the end I don't need these fake friends I don't, I don't need them I don't, I don't need them I don't need these fake friends Yeah, I'm tired of all these fake friends Don't need any one of them It's just me in the end I don't need these fake friends oh, I don't need them Michaela Prue with us on the Oakland County Megacast. Michaela, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for having me today. Appreciate it. You can find Michaela's music in a number of different places. If you go to Instagram, it is at Michaela Pru, M-C-K-A-Y-L-A-P-R-E-W. Facebook, it is uh, facebook.com slash Michaela Pru Music. And you can also find on her Instagram and on her Facebook page a link tree link that will take you to all the information you need to know about other places. You can find her on your favorite music platforms such as Spotify, Pandora, YouTube Music, and more.